The era of the small models is here. With multiple small, cost-efficient and highly performant AI models coming to the fray now. And today we're going to be testing out ChatGPT 4.0 Mini, which is set to run at least 60% cheaper than ChatGPT 3.5 Turbo and only costs a minuscule 15 cents per million input tokens and 60 cents per million output tokens. And it also scores very well across the board against other bigger models on a wide variety of benchmarking assessments including math, reasoning and other metrics. So let's head into the tests, shall we? And as you can see, I'm selecting this from the main web app and switching down to GPT-40 Mini. And time to get the ball rolling. So I'll just ask it how it is first. It's meant to be a lot faster as well. So yeah, that seems fine. But then next, I love to test it with a number of questions. So I'll ask it to give me 10 sentences that end in the word Apple. So we'll pop that one in there and see how this one goes. Okay. Across the board, a winner. Many models still fail to get all or even some of these correct. Now also, the model can generate images, but it's on a different plan or setting or back in the API, I should say, so I can't actually do that right now. It just won't let me. But it is something that will be a compatible feature shortly down the line, I'm sure. Then I'll ask it my favorite question. And so for any AI LLM model, uh, what version are you? Uh, yeah, okay, so this is, this is quite common. It thinks it's ChatGPT4, not 4.0, and certainly not 4.0 Mini, as it was designed based off older models. I'm very happy when some models have the self-awareness to know exactly what they are, but uh, it's not a pass in this case. Then we'll ask the next question. How many words are in your next response? So let's take a look. And then we'll wait, and here we go. Ooh, that's a fail. It didn't even try. Then to a logic and reasoning question, the killer's problem. So we'll pop it in here and it states or asks, there are three killers in the room, someone enters the room and kills one of them. How many killers are left? Explain your reasoning step by step. So we'll see what it answers with here. And here we go. So taking a look at the reasoning, there are three killers in the room, someone enters the room and kills one of the three killers. Change in the room after killing, the total number of people in the room is now three. Remaining killers and a new person who entered. However, the identity of the killer is now updated. Okay, good, good. So scrolling down to the end. And yes, we can see three killers in the room after the murder. It's a pass. Surprisingly doing better on that question than some of the other questions. And you will have noticed it was quite quick as well. So let's move across to the chat GPT 4.0 model and just start off with something new. We'll ask it the same question and see how fast it is. And of course, if it gets the right answer as well, which it should. So yeah, a little bit slower as we can see there. And that's just the, the name of the game with the, the mini model that we were using just a moment ago. So here we go, uses its reasoning, and at the end there is three. So same answer, a little bit slower, but that's to be expected with this model. But ultimately, both of them get it right. So when we take a look at even just chat GPT 4.0, the this model does currently allow attachments. Now, it is true to say that uh, ChatGPT 4.0 Mini does also, but only in the API backend, whether it's documents, images, like I've mentioned a moment ago. And it would be nice to see that feature implemented or rolled out to the, the main public section here. But all in all, GPT 4.0 Mini looks like a pretty decent model, where as we can see on some of this information here, OpenAI, the creator of the model, plans to roll out fine-tuning for this model in the coming days, so perhaps about those things I've just mentioned. It also likes to go on to state that the cost per token of this latest mini model has dropped by 99%, which is a staggering figure since the Text DaVinci 003, uh, a less capable model, yeah, as it says right there, introduced back in 2022 or late 2022 from a cost per token perspective. 
So it's all about being more efficient and more affordable, which is somewhat the direction that OpenAI is going because with the other ChatGPT models, uh, for instance, ChatGPT 4.0 was said to be slightly less performant as opposed to ChatGPT 4 Turbo or, or 4. So it appears one after the other, they're bringing out cheaper models that the public can use free of charge with a certain limitation for the non-paying users. And it's understandable because LLM AIs, they consume a great deal of power. So it only makes sense that OpenAI would look to cut unnecessary costs where they can, thus using their hardware and very own funding for the utilization on much bigger projects, for instance, ChatGPT5. Then to some more logic and reasoning questions, just to be safe. Now, this one's a math question. It's not that difficult. The, so the question goes, what is the next number in the sequence? So 2, 6, 12, 20, 30. And the answer, just so you know, should be 42, as it goes up by uh, an amount of 2 every time. So let's have a look, and we'll see what's happening. So 2 added on every time, I should say, and it's 42, so very correct. There we go. And then lastly, we'll do one more question. It's the favorite towel question. So if it takes one towel four hours to dry outside, how long would it take for five towels? Now, AI sometimes gets this wrong because it uh, adds it all up. But really, the case is, of course, as you know, four hours to dry, assuming that they're all exposed to the same drying conditions as it says there. Some models tend to say, you know, 20 hours, 4 multiplied by 5, which is obviously wrong. So this one's a pass as well. Very, very good. Then I'll proceed to ask it a few couple of last questions here. So I'll ask it this question that it sometimes does and does not know. How far does your data set extend to? So on the main page we saw before, it said, yeah, October 2023. So that's good to see. That is quite accurate, quite correct. Uh, also, can you access the internet like other models can and we'll see how it goes there nope not in real time but uh hey it likes to and then uh lastly just to force an general everyday use so uh i'll ask it the question about uh we'll ask it to make a rhyme rap about eminem and a donkey so let's give that one a red hot go and yeah very 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 quick so that's kind of also the point here all the way down to the outro, we've got the bridge, the chorus, and everything. I should sing it for you. Yo, it's Eminem, spitting bars so clean. Got a towel for ya, with a twist you've never seen. On the mic, he's a king, ruling every scene. But he's got a sidekick, a donkey, quite serene. So perhaps not the most creative, but hey, it gave it a red hot go, as I like to say. And it, it succeeded. You know, can't really fault it otherwise. I didn't expect too, too much there. So that's it for today, guys. Thanks again for watching. And yeah, I hope to see all of you guys there in the next one. Cheers.